Welcome to this radio channel and uh, this is a quick look at one of the phenomena that I talk about regularly on the live shows and sometimes on the uh, propagation report and it's e-skip or sporadic e-skip. It's called sporadic because it just happens, you know, from time to time. We don't really know when and it just doesn't last necessarily very long. It could be here and there and affect large big chunks of the ionosphere and have you know thousands of kilometers propagation. It can be very local and give you just a few hundred kilometers of propagation. And it's a very interesting phenomena that happens um, and that is related to anything that you listen to that's above 20 megahertz. Spartic E skip is because of a cloud of ionized, um, it's a big patch of ionized um, section of the atmosphere where signals suddenly bounce like shortwave but it has a very particular um, thing very special characteristic which is it technically is so dense that often it will actually propagate signals very high higher than the shortwave bands higher than 30 megahertz so you might have seen on some of my channels um, you know reception of six meter band 50 megahertz uh, a couple of weeks back, I heard, you know, Puerto Rico on 50 megahertz. How can that be? Well, it is due to sporadic e-skip. What's interesting with e-skip is also that even though we are in the solar minimum pretty much now, this is totally independent from what we can understand. That means it can happen any time, at any time of day or night. So it doesn't have any time frame usually. And when it happens, well, 10 meter comes alive, 28 megahertz. 11 meter band comes alive, CB band comes alive, 27 megahertz. So it's worth it that even when you don't hear anything on the upper frequencies, even if it takes a certain time before something appears in the upper frequencies, or you maybe never heard anything there, well, check out regularly the high frequencies. Check them out because it's surprising when sporadic E can happen. When it does, the bands will light up with tons of activity. And of course, if you like scanner radios, you have a scanner radio or a uh, communications receiver that's wideband, can check higher frequencies. It can even propagate signals up to the FM band. One of the places that I like to go to see if such phenomena is happening, it's dxmaps.com. dxmaps.com is cool because you can choose a specific vicinity. So say, I wanna know what's happening in North America. So here you'll have the world map, but I want to know North America. So I will click North America. It's a little longer than usual to appear. I am on the insider machine, so that could be the possibility of why it's taking so long. Uh, so for example, at the top here, you see Europe, Africa, North America. You can click on a specific area and check out what's available. So here I'm in North America, VHF and up and 50 megahertz so it gives me an idea of everything and where propagation is happening so you see here where sporadic e skip for example for 50 megahertz but here we're in the shortwave band so what you'll do is click the lf hf for low and hf which is shortwave and here you can check out 10 meters for example now you'll have an idea of 10 meter openings this gives you a interesting idea of sporadic e skip happening now when solar activity is very high. Remember that solar activity can be intense enough to have 10 meter open. But in these times of low solar activity, pretty much all the time when 10 meter opens, it's e-skip that's happening. So you can check out wherever you live around the world. Is there something happening in my area? And tune the bands and see what's, al what, you know, what's alive on the frequencies. And you'll be surprised at how far you can receive signals sometimes due to this uh, phenomenon. So dxmaps.com is a great place to go to see what's happening. So uh, hope you uh, tune the bands, check it out. Uh, remember these clouds are of short, you know, they can last anywhere from a few minutes to a couple of hours to sometimes several days. It all depends on, the, you know, what's causing the uh, phenomena and how big the ionized patch is. Um, and transatlantic trans um, propagation is possible with ESCAP. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.